Hello, hello, my name is Nick from Board Game Brawl, and this is Diary of a Kickstarter Addict. This is where I talk about all the first world problems that can only come about from being a board gaming fan in the United States in 2015. And I hope you're enjoying your board game blender so far, and let's not be coy anymore. We all know that all of these food-related shows that Tom's been putting out are just backdoor pilots for the eventual all-cooking network that he has planned, which is mostly going to consist of Jason Levine and Sam Healy competing against each other in Iron Chef competitions. Now the inaugural theme of Board Game Blender is theme, which I thought was actually a pretty appropriate topic for a Kickstarter segment because in the normal board gaming world, we call you all civilians, uh, there's a bevy of different themes to choose from. Well, not really. There's only two themes, Cthulhu and Zombies, but there's a ton of variations that go down from there. Uh, but in the Kickstarter world, there are no holds barred. There are so many different types of themes. Some of them good, some of them... But if you just look at my own backer history, there's... I mean, you've got zombies, and you've got the Underground Railroad, and you've got Conan, and you've got Nazi anime girls, don't judge. And then you've even got Kingdom Death Monster, which is about... I don't know what it's about, but it's about whatever Cave Evil is about, if that helps you. And you know, back in the day, there were only a couple of themes. There was the economy, and then that diabetes simulator that kids like to play. There's so many varied themes that if a time traveler were to come to this time period, and I think about time travel a lot because I always wonder what could have happened if we could have stopped the Matrix sequels and, and kill Hitler, I guess. Uh, there's so many themes that I imagine someone would be shell-shocked. It would be like Brooks from Shawshank Redemption getting out of prison after 50 years and wondering why cars go so fast. It's just kind of a shocking thing. And if you think about it, this prevalence of different varied themes has only been exacerbated by Kickstarter. In the normal board gaming world, you have rules and standards and quality control, whatever that is. But Kickstarter doesn't have any of that. It's just raw ideas put to page, to web page anyways. Someone gets up in the morning and says, I want to make a game about unicorns running a grocery store. The grocery store is on fire and it's being attacked by Russians. That is going up on Kickstarter tomorrow morning. I've already seen the preview page. Really, there's nothing to get upset about. This is just a pendulum swing, after all. Most of the games that we had in the modern designer board gaming era have been about boring white guys and how they used to rule the world, and it's just not like that anymore. I think that we're missing an obvious point here, and that is that board gaming has become popular enough that its themes have just become reflective of the themes of pop culture in general. The most popular video on my channel is my review of Adventure Time Card Wars. My second most popular video is me unboxing the groceries that I brought home for the day. And I think the reason that we're seeing so many different types of themes is that because pop culture is bleeding into board gaming at an accelerated rate. So not only are we seeing a lot of licensed properties, movies, TV shows, a pamphlet that I found on the ground the other day that are actually being made into quality games, unlike the sort of licensed garbage that we had to put up with in the past, but now you're seeing people saying, well, I have all these other fantastic, weird, and uh, strange ideas that I would love to see put into board gaming form because it's accepted now. We can just do this. We can have a game about eating psychedelic mushrooms. Or perhaps I just had psychedelic mushrooms and imagined that there was a board game about it. I don't know. Now, all of these may seem like obvious points, but I think that it raises the bigger question of what is the theme of board gaming in general? It's certainly not what it was 50 years ago. And it actually, I'll say that it's not even certainly what it was five years ago before Kickstarter, which has had a huge impact on it. But I think that that's fantastic. I love the varied, and I just coined this term right now, melting pot of ideas that we have going on in the board gaming community right now, where you can have some really weird off the wall things right next to another iteration of the, is it Star Wars franchise? I don't know, I don't watch B-movies. Let me know what you think down in the comments. My name is Nick, I'm from Board Game Brawl. You can check me out at youtube.com forward slash Board Game Brawl, and I'll see you at breakfast on Monday.